This is one of the more curious stores in Lower Manhattan. It's a cobbler. They will uh, fix your shoes, but you can also get your hair cut in there. But then all the way in the back there, behind that little curtain, there's a woman who doesn't speak English, but will give you whatever kind of massage you want. I've only been in this place once to get my boots repaired, and they offered me all kinds of strange services. So tomorrow, tomorrow is Owen, my son's 17th birthday, which means he'll be the same age I was when I had him. That is crazy! At least theoretically, I could be a grandfather by now. Bye bye! Bye bye! Headed into the office. I only have two days in the office this week, which is which is stressful. <sighs> smells, it smells like burning in here. No? Look at the weight of this, of this letter. Heavy. This costs $2.73 to send. This is an invitation to some party. That's crazy. And this is my new concierge key. That's the highest status level they offer. These are the best. These are to hand out to flight attendants that are extra nice to you. Other guys who play, play whatever, they're like, give some math. This thing sucks, but I ordered a better one. Candace and the baby are on a walk and they're trying to go find them. I don't smoke so I don't take cigarette breaks at work, but sometimes I take family breaks to go see the wife and kid. What's going on in here? Hello. How's it going, guys? Good. Is that a talking plant? Maybe. Talking, yeah. Maybe, or maybe you had some uh, jam in your pancakes that was sitting around too long. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. All right, see this monitor here? That is my door monitor. It captures what's on the other side of this door. That's the lens. That's the surveillance monitor. I have kind of a lot of monitors in my studio. Here's another one. This is just outside, so if my car's parked out there, I can keep an eye on it. And then this monitor here is outside that door as well, so that's the elevator there. I have this gigantic monitor here that monitors 
what's on the other side of my office door. I have these monitors here. This one is outside. This one is the other office space. This is one door. This is the other door. That's the other office. I don't have these because I'm a crazy person. It's just I like my office back here where there's no windows. And if I have those TV monitors up, I always know what's going on. If anything, it helps me focus. What are you guys doing? I built this. You built this? Yeah, I built this. You got excellent drone control. Thank you. Vlogs are coming along okay. Yeah. It's a hell of an undertaking. It's like adopting a puppy. <laughs> Bye guys, good luck with your drone. These vlogs are like adopting a puppy. They're really fun at first, and then just a tremendous responsibility. Today was just like, today was a pure work day. I had to be in the office all day, I had to focus. Um, when I wasn't in the office, I was running home to help Candace with the baby. And I could have filmed all of that, but I needed to be present. So then I had like all these insecurities, like well maybe I don't make a vlog today because nothing interesting happened. But I think what makes vlogging, what makes these vlogs true, is that it's just what I'm up to, no matter how interesting or not interesting, I determine that to be. Right, man. You're right, dynamite, man. <laughs> Number one. Okay, late night leaving the office. It's like 7.30 now. And Matt, Matt, Matt and I are going to a dinner meeting. Are you coming back? No, I'm done. Dinner's over, it was good, it was good? It's good seeing you, man. Yeah, it was awesome. My salmon was a little undercooked. Okay, it's late, but I am finally heading home. A long day. <laughs>